Welcome to the world of Gil- 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 Gilinor? Wait, the world isn't called RuneScape? Now on mobile! That can't be right. What the hell? This is actually news to me. I've been playing this game for 15 years and I'm just now learning this? You're just a lowly adventurer, quite literally skilled in nothing. You have burnt your shrimp. But now is the time to rise up. Yeah. We're gonna stop burning shrimp. Nice. We're gonna kill a rat and we're gonna conquer Tutorial Island. The guy made me use magic on a chicken. I, I think this is animal cruelty. Congratulations, you have completed Tutorial Island. But now the wizard asks if you want to make your character an Iron Man. What is an Iron Man, you ask? Something I can only describe to you as digital flagellation. Iron Man mode removes your character's ability to trade, thereby forcing you to become fully self-sufficient. It is a true test of patience, discipline, planning, and coordination, and I can therefore only recommend this mode to the true gaming elite. There's also Hardcore Iron Man, it's uh, it's like Iron Man, but hardcore. You get one life, a steep price to pay, but the clout you gain in return is immeasurable. Just look at this breathtaking icon. But wait, there's more. Introducing Ultimate Iron Man Mode for those truly deprived of sanity. On top of the trade restrictions, you can now enjoy complete exclusion from all banking privileges. If you hate yourself, your life, and everyone around you, I recommend Ultimate Iron Man Mode. Now whilst all these challenge modes sound incredibly fun, it's, it's gonna have to be a no from me, for I have my own self-imposed challenge. My own mode. Goblin Man Mode. Here's my basic rule set. Rule one, you must wear a goblin mask at all times. I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. Rule two, you can only use items that other people have given you for free. This means you cannot buy items from NPCs, you cannot pick items up on the overworld, you cannot pick up enemy drops, you cannot use the grand exchange, you cannot make a trade with another player where you offer something in exchange for something else, okay? It has to be given to you for free. Rule three, you cannot use the bank. Uh, no real reason for this one, I just thought it would be more fun this way. However, I am going to allow the unnoting of items at the bank. So with these rules in mind, I'm going to set out to complete every single free-to-play quest. Uh, I'm going to do the shortest quest first in alphabetical order and then work my way up to Dragon Slayer, which is the hardest and longest free-to-play quest. It's going to take a lot of charm and a lot of begging, but I never back down from free items and a stupid challenge because that's my goblin way. Okay, so first things first, I need a goblin mask. Wait, isn't that a member's item? Oh, fuck. Okay, first things first, I need a bond. So for those of you who don't know, this game is free to play, and whilst there is enough stuff to do as a free to play character that would keep you busy for possibly hundreds of hours, most of the content is gated behind a paid subscription service. However, uh, there is an item called a bond, which you can buy with in-game currency, and that grants you 14 days membership status. Uh, and I need membership to wield this mask. Damn, I'm- <laughs> Fuck, I'm really about to go beg for a bond. Oh, this is awful. This is just awful. Was I truly up to this task, or had I bitten off more than I could chew? Begging for a bond is quite a tall order. I mean, who in their right mind would give a bond to this guy? This guy? A fresh level 3? No chance. As the hours passed and the rejections stacked, so too did the doubt in my mind. Could I really depend on the kindness of strangers, or had I just been naive? Was this quest doomed to fail before it had even begun? Only time would tell. Well, we'll try this guy. I think he's AFK. I don't even think he's here. Whatever, we'll give it a try. Oh, brave warrior, please hear this go uh, goblin's plea. What's up? I am a goblin from the west. I come to this city looking for a kind adventurer. I have been assigned a task from my goblin king. I cannot go home until it is complete. I think this guy's just going to teleport away. He's just going to TP away. People keep doing that. Oh, he'll help! What do I need? Okay, well here's where I lose him. I must bring what you humans call uh, a bond. There's no way. This is when he TPs. You need a bond? That is what has been requested of me. Are you able to assist, brave warrior? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. They always laugh at- oh! Hmm, there's no way he's actually thinking about it. I like you, fuck it. Come with me. Come with- Okay. There's no way he's serious. He's gonna take me to his bank and he's gonna trade me like, uh, like an egg <laughs> or something. I've been at this for hours and this is the second guy. The second guy out of like 
50 people who has even slightly humored me. Well, we'll find out soon if he's memeing on me. One sec, little man. He, uh, he seems nice. He, I, I got a good feeling about him, I guess. Not really. I don't. I think at this point, I'm just predisposed to think that people are just gonna tell me to fuck off. I mean, this one guy gave me 100k, but I feel bad because, like, after I accepted it, I realized I can't use money on this challenge, so I'm just gonna end up dropping it. He's trading. Well, here we go. I can't wait to see what meme this is gonna be. It's gonna be like a pot of weed or something. <gasps> no way! Th no way he accepted- there's, a there's no way this is- No way. No, no, no way! No! <laughs> Be strong and brave, little goblin dude. He added me, dude. Now we're friends forever. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. I'm too tired to process this. He actually likes my, my goblin roleplay. He likes my goblin roleplay enough to give me a bond. Like, what the hell? It took me all day. It actually took me all day to get this. That's just one day. Oh my god, this challenge is actually gonna be so hard. But the hardest part's over. I got the bond, okay? I'm gonna go to bed, and then tomorrow I can actually start doing the quests. <gasps> no, wait, no, I need the goblin mask! <laughs> ah! Okay, it's uh, the next day. Today is ch ch Tuesday. Today is Friday. <laughs> uh, I know what day it is. Uh, right, let's activate this bond. And then uh, I need to go and get a goblin mask. Okay, rate my play. Check this play out. Oh, brave adventurer. I am a goblin who has lost his face. <laughs> please, please help me. See, I don't want to just like outright ask for a goblin mask. I want to, I want to be kind of cryptic about it. Oh, they said okay. Damn, pe people in members worlds are, are way more helpful than on the free to play worlds. This is like the third person I've approached today. Maybe I'm being too uh, optimistic. Oh, they moved though. They moved. They're talking to the Grand Exchange, presumably. It's been a couple of minutes and I don't know if this is happening. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. Wishes to trade. Come on, come on. Come on, be the- <laughs> Yes! Yes! We can finally start goblin man mode. Dude, I called this, okay? On the free-to-play world is cutthroat. A man will step over his own grandmother for an adamantite plate body, but here on the members world, people are way nicer. Okay, our first quest, Black Knight's Fortress. Now, for this one, we need t uh, 12 quest points. Fuck. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this one. Okay, our first quest, uh, for real this time, Cook's Assistant. Now this one's simple enough. We just need a bucket of milk, a pot of flour, and an egg. We can do that. And so I set off to Lumbridge, hoping to find some humans who could help me obtain the items I required. When I arrived, I found a caped ranger mercilessly slaying some cows. I called out to him for help. Could you please help me over here? I need an egg. Naturally, he was confused, but he put his bovine slaughter on hold to attend me nonetheless. Now I gotta explain to this guy that I need him to pick me up and- Oh, he's just gone in anyway. Oh, he's just picked it up. What a guy! I didn't even have to ask! I expressed that I needed milk next, to which he explained I could get milk from the nearby dairy cows and that I would need a bucket. Unfortunately, I am an idiot goblin who does not understand how to get milk or even where to get bucket. He told me to hold my position and he made off for the horizon. Upon his return, he handed me two buckets. It was nice of him to give me two buckets. I only need one. Right, now we milk the cow- No, wait, hold on. Can I milk the cow? No, that's- I think that's gonna be against the rules, right? Because he can trade me milk. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to make him milk the cow for me. Can you get the milk, please? This, this is so stupid. He's milking it, dude! He's actually milking the cow! He had helped me get an egg. He had helped me milk a cow. To ask any more of this man would be disrespectful. And so I searched for another adventurer who could help me obtain flour. I approached a seemingly kind human in the village, but once I explained I needed help obtaining flour, she got an attitude. Pretty easy thing to do, so why would you need help with it? I am just a goblin, ma'am. Unamused with the proceedings, she fucking dipped. <laughs> And so I ran back to the dude who had helped before. Now I know I said if I asked any more of this man it would be rude, but... Etiquette's gonna have to go out the window if I'm to complete this challenge. And so I asked him to help me obtain flour, to which he responded that goblins sometimes drop it upon death. And then he started to call my brothers. Right before my very eyes. Eventually he gave up and just bought me some flour from the Grand Exchange. I accepted the flour, but I could not accept his friendship. And so with all the items secured, I fled the Grand Exchange and made for Lumbridge Castle. Now as for the quest itself, you, you literally just give the cook the items and then he bakes a cake. That's it. Quest complete! 
Now you genius viewers may have noticed that the video's title says part one. Holy shit, it does. Well, my original plan was to make this one long upload, but I've already been gone for like one month working on this project and I like to keep my uploads consistent. So the rest of this series is coming soon. I promise, most of it's already edited anyway. Shout out to Jagex for sponsoring this video. If you haven't checked out Old School RuneScape, do it right now. You can play on PC, you can play on your phone, you get one week free membership if you click my link in the description. Okay, bye!